Okay, this question that I want to solve now is a Y question, and I believe you can see it through the screen of the phone that I'm holding. It's a Y question, and it comes from a topic link mechanisms. The question says that figure two shows a link mechanism. The crank OM rotates about O and N is constrained to move to and fro horizontally. Plot the locus of point L for one complete revolution. Okay, so this diagram the question is talking about. We have a circle and we have a crank uh, mechanism, we have a line NL that is moving around and point N is constrained, I said in the question. So point L is moving in a clockwise direction. It is moving in a clockwise direction. So we are going to use the dimensions given to solve this problem. Okay, now the first thing that you need to do is to draw the horizontal so draw the horizontal we are going to construct the circle first so we draw horizontal line the horizontal line and then um, so we draw horizontal line and we also draw a vertical line we also draw a vertical line here okay all right so the circle is the radius of the circle is 25 mm so i will take i will take 25 mm on my ruler 25 mm on my ruler and i will draw a circle okay so this is the circle so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to divide this circle into eight equal parts so i divide the circle into eight equal parts so that's the next thing i'm going to do okay now i can use my 45 degrees s square to divide the circle into eight equal parts or equal parts so the circle is already divided into four so all i need to do is to draw a line So from here to here, and then I will take my 45 degrees L square to this side and draw this line. Okay, now, so if you look at the question, if you look at the question, so in the question, so point M is here. So if you look at the question, so this is point M, so point M is at this point so this is where I will put M here and this will be the first point so I can call this point let me call it one two this is three this point is four this is five this is six this is seven and here I have eight at this point so this is eight okay so the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to draw uh, locate point point uh, point n because point n if you look at the question point n is 30 mm 30 mm away from the center of the circle so the distance of point n is 30 mm away from the center of the circle and this center is the bed o the center of the circle is the bed o so what i'm going to do now is that I'm going to measure 30 mm, 30 mm from the center of the circle. I will measure 30 mm. So this is 30. So this point is 30. So I will draw a horizontal line from this point. 
I draw a horizontal line from this point. So the horizontal line goes like this. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to do is that uh, if you look at the question, MN is 75. MN is 75 mm. So I will take my compass, measure 75 mm on my ruler. Measure 75 mm on my ruler. So then I will put it at point M here. Put it at point M and I will draw an arc on this line. So wherever this arc touch this line, so it be point N. So this point, this point N. Okay. So I will now draw a straight line. So that straight line will pass through point M. So the line goes like this okay so on this line on this line i'm going to measure ml is 25 mm so i will measure 25 mm on this line i'll measure 25 mm on this line so this is 25 so this point is 25 so here i'm going to write l1 is L1. So the next thing I'm going to do is that with that 75 that I used to draw, that I used to locate this point N from M here, so that same thing, same, 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 75, I put it at point 2 here, point 2 here, and I will draw an arc on this line, like this. Draw an arc on this line. So I have, the, I have a point here. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I will draw a straight line from this point a straight line from this point passing through two so the line goes like this so it is passed through point two so from point two here from this point from this point i'm going to measure 25 mm from this point so this is 25 so this is another point so with the same 75 just be doing it as I'm doing it here so that you not get confused. So with this 75, I put that point 3 and draw an arc on this line. Draw an arc on this line. So this is another point. This is another point. So I will draw a straight line from this point. A line from this point. And the line will pass through 3. So from point three here, from this point, so I'm going to measure 25 mm. I measure 25 mm on this line. So this is 25. Okay. So this is 25. So this point, this point. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is that. So. Um, let me call this point two and this is point three okay so um maybe i should say this is l2 and this is l3 okay so the next one i'm going to do is that with that same 75 i will put it at point four here and draw an arc on this line so this is another point here so i will draw a straight line from this point so I'll draw a line from this point here. So the line goes like this. Okay. So on this line from point four, I will measure 25 on this line. 25 mm on this line. So this is the point. Here's the point. So I will call this L4. Okay. So the next one is with that same 75, I put the pinpoint at 5 and draw an arc on this line. So this is the point. Then I will draw a line from this point passing through 5. So it goes like this. So from point 5, so from point 5. I will 
measure 25 mm 25 mm this is 25 mm so this point here so i'll call this l5 call this l5 so the next is another 75 from 6 so i'll take 75 from 6 let me check okay this is still accurate so the next is i'll put my compass at this point and make an arc on this line make an arc on this line so this is the point this is the point so from here I will draw a straight line that will pass through point six. So the line goes like this. Okay, so from six I will measure I will measure twenty-five mm. From six I will measure twenty-five mm. So this is it. So this point. Now this point. So I will call this L6. Okay. With that same 75. So I put it at point seven here. 0.7 here so I'll draw an arc on this line so this is the point this is the point and from this point I will draw a line that will pass through 0.7 so the line goes like this okay so from 0.7 here so I measure 75 Sorry, I measure 25. So this is 25. So this point is 25. This point is 25. Okay. So I can call this. Let me call this L7. So next, next is 8. So from 8, make a lock on this line. On this line. So from here, from this point here, so I will draw a straight line passing through point eight. This point eight. Draw a straight line passing through point eight. So it goes like this. Okay. So this is point eight. So I will now measure twenty-five mm. I measure 25 mm from here. 25 mm from here. So this is 25. So this is the point. So I will call this L8. Okay. So this point that we have made on these lines, we are going to join them together with the use of the French curve. The use of the French curve. We are going to join them together. Okay. So we are going to join them together with the use of the French curve. So I will take my French curve and begin to join them together. Okay. So So setting my French curve like this, so I can join this point together, the point eight and one. I can join them together. So that's it. I've joined that. So the next one. So I can join L1 and L2 together. I can join L1 and L2 together. Okay. So I'm done with that. So the next one is I can join. L2 and L3. So all I need to do is to set my French curve very well. So L2 and L3. Okay, I've joined this. Then L4 will be joined with L3. L4 will be joined with L3. This is perfect. Okay, so the next is. I'm going to join L4 and L5 together. L4 and L5. You need to be very careful. 
So I want a perfect curve. Okay. Alright. Okay. So let me come from here again. Let me come from here. So from here I can just I can join these three points together. So it goes like this. Okay. So the next is it remains this. So this is it. So this is the locus of point L that we are asked to produce. This is the locus of point L that we are asked to produce. So this is the solution to the question. So it's as simple as explained here. So just make sure you practice it. Make sure you practice it. So go to the channel. Uh, just type the channel Lawali Ismail on your uh, YouTube uh, app. So when you type the general lower list, you will see all the videos that I have uploaded. So you can learn from here, but you need to practice. So when you see it done like this, you too need to practice. So you can subscribe so that whenever I upload the video, you will get a notification. Thank you.